Hello, welcome to CE 3305, Engineering Fluid Mechanics. This course is taught in 2019 at Yada Hochschule in Germany, and it's taught jointly to students at Texas Tech University, as well as students participating in Yada Hochschule. The purpose of this video is to rapidly uh, take a tour of the course website. We're going to review the syllabus. Uh, we'll mention some course resources and that will conclude this video. A subsequent video will discuss problem solving and then the last part of lesson one is definition of fluid and some other uh, ancillary components as well as an introduction to the programming or the scripting language of R which is a recommended tool uh, for this and future classes. So to begin with, uh, here is the course homepage. Now I'm going to go to the main page. So there is a website and the URL is www.rtfmps.com and if you type that URL, it should take you to the page displayed here in the video. Uh, you also can probably access it without the www. If you attempt to access it using the HTTPS, the secure protocol, it will, it will usually fail. Uh, the transmission layer security is intentionally disabled on this website for the time being. So if you secure, if you get there that way, it probably will fail. If you go just straight to the HTTP protocol, it will probably issue a security warning on your laptop. It's okay to generate an exception and allow it to uh, proceed. You can look at the self-signed certificate. It should have obvious information that would make it obvious to you that this is my uh, website. I'll have my name on it and uh, I think it says Lubbock, Texas for the location. To go to uh, the course material we would take the teaching link which I took there. Now there's a Moodle site and then there is the resource link and I'm making a change from how I've done it in the past and I'm going to try to have the resource link be the entry point um, that will tidy up the uh, Moodle site considerably. So Here's the entry point, and if you want to directly save the uh, URL, it's shown up here, www.rtfmps.com slash documents slash university hyphen courses slash CE3305 n slash. The n slash is kind of important because otherwise browsers tend to get lost without it. All right, so here's the course homepage. In the home page, we'll find a course description. This is re repeated in the syllabus. We will find a listing of the prerequisites. The main prerequisites for this class are calculus. Um, you should know what a derivative and an integral is. Um, a class in engineering mechanics, uh, statics at Texas Tech. The code is CE2301. Um, but whatever the uh, status class you had will be sufficient. And um, you're going to find computing capabilities useful. Uh, this is not a computing class in the sense that we won't. Uh, there's a couple of computational examples throughout the course. There's three to be precise. Um, and those, those will be perhaps difficult for some people, but you're going to be working in teams. Uh, the required software is Excel. And then um, I'm trying to introduce people to a programming tool called R, just the letter R. It's available for free from CRAN.org and there's online tools available to support some but not all the uh, exercises. As for the online tools, uh, I have to do my usual disclaimer. It's for teaching only. Don't use it for real work. And lastly, there's some important gen form of information um, for the study abroad uh, relevant for the US students. Should you manage to lose your passport, here is the uh, various phone numbers for U.S. embassies. The closest one for us 
in Willemshaven is going to be the Hamburg uh, Embassy. It's um, actually not hard to get to. Uh, we'll also be in Berlin at the end of our visit here, which will be your other um, likely uh, embassy. Um, and then these other ones are, uh, are listed here. The course outline is linked here. Um, it's also linked up here. I'm going to use the navigation screen for grins. Uh, you'll know you're at the right one if it says summer 2019. And the relevant part for everybody in the outline is the schedule. I believe I have uh, got this, the dates correct. Um, so the first class meeting is on July 9th, as is the second. And the topics are listed here in the schedule. These items are the reading pages in the textbook and we'll go visit a copy of that in a second. Uh, the free days are highlighted and the quiz due dates, uh, the quiz due dates and the exercise set due dates are listed here. My intent is for the quizzes to be individual efforts, so each of you will log into your Moodle account, not your Yada Holshul, but the one on RTF MPS, uh, and take the quizzes. And then the exercise sets, because they're extensive, I've pretty much grouped a week's worth of homework into one due period. Um, that's done as a team. So you'll have teams assigned to you the first day of class, and you'll work with your team, and um, you can decide the most effective way for your team to work, but only one solution has to be uploaded for the entire team, and the computer has the ability to keep track of who's on what team. And we'll go through that live uh, at the uh, first class meeting. Um, anything else relevant here? Quizzes, examinations, and so forth. And the uh, overall grading, 20% uh, participation, 30% homework, 50% on the um, final exam. Uh, the quizzes are included in this examination uh, portion. Uh, for the U.S. students, here's the ABET program objectives. I believe I have the wrong coding now. Um, they don't use A through K. They use different letters of the alphabet, but most of the uh, components here are still um, uh, transferable. As for academic misconduct, um, because you're working as teams, there's not going to be much of a cheating issue um, except on the quizzes and the server has the ability to keep track of who's logged on when and generally can tell if there's been some misbehavior by how rapidly somebody completes a quiz. So please work those on your own, especially uh, the final exam. It's going to be vital that you work those on your own. Okay, now well that completes the um, relevant syllabus review, and you can print it out uh, if you wish to. Okay, let's move into the Lessons tab. Um, in the Lessons tab, uh, the lessons are listed by what I think are appropriate categories. There's 11 lessons on basic principles, 6 on closed conduits, um, five on open conduits, that seems to be not enough, and then a little bit on boundary layers. And lesson 27 is um, kind of a placeholder flow measurement. It'll depend on how quickly we get through the other components. So you can um, extend any of these categories by pressing the plus sign. So there's the first 11 lessons, uh, the next set, and the next set, there's the page fully expanded. and there is a 28th meeting scheduled, I'm pretty sure, and that's the final exam. Although the final exam will still be online, and again in the face-to-face -face meeting on the first day, I'll explain uh, how that'll be worked. Um, the intent is that there should be plenty of time to complete it. Okay, there's also a set of toolkits up here, and I'm going to select the primary one because it happens to be working right now. And in these toolkits, uh, there are some online tools that are pretty simple to use. Um, you could put in, I've chosen the Reynolds number, you, you provide the prompted input. Um, 
Okay, so I made those numbers up completely out of my head. And uh, when you're done, if you press the submit key, what's going to happen is it's going to go to the server up here, make the calculations, and report um, a solution. If you bugger up the input, let's see what happens. I think this should give me an error message. Yeah, if you get that error message, um, the first thing to check is to bugger up the, uh, is, is that you buggered up the input. Now, it doesn't do error checking, so it will uh, accept meaningless numbers and attempt to make calculations. Okay, when you're done using, uh, this thing can be cut and paste into uh, homework assignments. When you're done, use the back arrow to get back to the uh, server, because the toolkits are on different machines. Uh, there's a backup, which I don't maintain, although one of the things the backup has is a functioning Manning's N um, database, which hasn't been moved to the primary. Other than that, they're uh, roughly the same. And again, you use the back arrow to get back to the main server. Okay, the readings is contained in a directory here. Currently, as you can see, it's not indexed. Um, Probably by the time of the actual course, the indexes will be in place. But these are just copies of selected portions of a couple editions ago of the textbook. That meowing that you hear is my cat named Mercy. Uh, she's trying to help uh, with the video. She's a very talented cat. And so the readings are um, here. And you should have your own textbook, but the page number here is 30 and 32 and so forth. So those correspond to the reading exercises that are in the syllabus. Speaking of exercises, let's visit the Moodle site itself. Now I'm going to use, okay, I've already logged in on purpose, um, but let me go ahead and this is what you'll encounter on your first visit. You want to select engineering fluid mechanics and you have to log in. Um, now you'll have your own username. Hopefully I typed that correctly. And here's what the course looks like. At the time of making this video, I don't have the uh, due date set correctly. And some items you won't, uh, you won't find. So you may not have these um, meeting links, although it's not that difficult for me to uh, include those. Um, there'll be quizzes. This particular quiz has no questions in it, but again, it will be um, at the time of the class. And the you're going to need to check the due dates of the quiz. Um, the exercise set, uh, right there, it's currently empty, but uh, when it's not empty, the actual exercise set will be presented to you and you can work through it. Okay, and I'll hand out the uh, login credentials um, the first day of class. Okay, finally, uh, let's go to lessons. Oh, I was there. Lesson one, there will usually be a lesson description. Um, this one's introduction, so the description is not correct. Uh, there's a link to the notes for the lesson. This link is going to come up. It's not going to be a PowerPoint, but it is for this placeholder lesson. And the lecture notes are shown there. There's also video links. Uh, for example, uh, this video that you're watching, there'll be a link here. Uh, Moodle links get you back to the Moodle site if you can't remember how. And if there's any supplemental data, Excel worksheets or R script uh, that's relevant to the lesson, the links are here. Every lesson has this general structural layout. And when you want to get back to the course homepage, you click on the green button. Okay, that concludes uh, this video. Uh, there's two more, one on problem solving, last one on definition of a fluid, uh, and those will be linked in the Lesson 1 link directory. Thank you for your attention, and thank you very much for choosing CE3305.